Hi guys, Scrapping with Scrapaletta here. So I wanna do another quick play date in my book. So we're gonna do just another page in the book that we've been working on. And this is the little book right here. We did some pages, as you can remember, we did these. Um, we did these pages right here and we'll do a whole nother show of the book when we finally get it finished So we're almost at the end. So now I'm just gonna work on these two little pages right here and you know, I can't do anything that's just um, I Can't do anything. That's just like get really quick and easy. So what I'd like to do is I'm going to do some flaps in these and do some closures in the inside of them so just play along with me i've already cut the pieces out i cut four pieces at six and a half by six and a half i cut uh four pieces at three and a half by six and i cut four pieces at one by seven now i didn't score these which i really should have done already so uh you'll just have to bear with me as i get these scored and this is something that I'm actually coming up with as I go along. So, um, my brain kind of works that way when I'm working on my own projects. I've never actually done a, uh, uh, a tutorial, as you can say, but I do like to... I, I do like to think that maybe I could, but I'm taking this as a way to get ready to do some of my own tutorials. Now, there are some people that I really do like to follow, like um, L&M Crafty Creations and my sister Scrapper. And um, I like to follow um, uh, Kathy Orta King a lot. But when I do my own, you know, it's kind of hard because everything's been done. So unless you really come up with something that is just totally out of the box. And I'm scoring all of these at half an inch. And next time I'll make sure that I have them scored before we work on them. But, you know, to me, this is all part of learning what to do is to actually do it with the person as you're going along and what i've decided to do is i'm going to have two little flip arms and i'm going to have two belly bands Ooh, that was really off it's kind of hard to do things on um on on camera when you know you've got people watching you. Isn't that funny how, like, when you try to do something and you know you got somebody watching you or you're trying to teach somebody something, that everything that can go wrong does go wrong? All right. So I'm scoring the belly bands on each side at seven inches. I uh, don't know how this is going to come out because it's all in my head. <laughs> How about that one? All right, so I think what I wanna do, the first thing I wanna do is, um, I think the first thing I wanna do is I wanna do these, let's fold them over like this. I think I'm gonna have a flap here and a flap here. And I may have to cut these a little bit shorter because it looks like I cut them a little bit too long. And what did I cut these by? I think I cut these at six and a half by six and a half. Six and a half by six and a half, okay. So, let's move that to the side right here and let's score these. And you always score to the mountain. Like on the, on the bumpy side. See, this is the bumpy side. This is the valley, I just call it valley and mountain. So I always, you always want to fold it, you know, unless you can't, to the bumpy side. So let's put this back in here and let's see how these look. If I put one here, uh, that is perfect. Okay, but I think I want the top one coming down. 
and I want to put one here. I think I want that one to flip up. I may have to, that one's first. And then I want, let's fold the two other ones. I want some bumper guards, I think. So let's move this back over here and let me fold these out. Make sure they lay flat. Wow, time is really flying. Okay. All right, let's bring my book back. I think I need to put these on first. Yeah, I think I need to put these on first. So let's get some glue. Ah, my cord is getting in the way. It's getting caught in my arm. So I use, just so you'll know, where is it at? Um, I have a fine tip on here. And I'm gonna put this right here. I'm putting it right at the edge of where, I'm putting it right at the edge of where uh, I have little holes that have been punched here. So I'm putting it right at the edge of that, trying to make it as straight as possible, but you know how it is. Sometimes we don't get things on as straight as we should. So let's see, let's move that up a little bit. So that means I need to put a little bit more glue on there. Yes, I am not a perfect crafter, like all of you perfect crafters out there. There we go, that's where we need it. And then I'm going to take my bone folder just press it down. Now this glue does dry clear, so open it up, press it down, that out of there. All right, so now I wanna put my other bumper over here on this side. That'll work. And see, I have to play with this because this is coming out of my head, so I may have to cut something down because I didn't quite think it through, but that's how you learn. You play, you learn, you do over. <laughs> you write it down unless you're like me. I'll put it in a video so I can remember. All right. And we're gonna smooth that down and wipe off that excess glue right there because we don't want our page sticking together. And I use my fingers a lot there. Fingernails a lot, there we go. So now we got the bumpers on and they don't need to touch because we're gonna use these um, to, we're gonna use these on top to make sure that our pages close up. So now I wanna put, oh, it fits in here perfectly. All right, but that's the one on the top. The one on the bottom, I am gonna have to cut it down a little bit up here at the top because it's gonna be too high up. So I'm gonna cut maybe just a quarter of an inch off and see how that looks. So let's see. Let's just do a quarter of an inch off. I'm gonna set it right in between these two that is going to be perfect. Okay. I'm gonna put the bottom one down first, centering it in between my two bumpers, making sure that my bumpers have enough space that they can close without dragging, making sure that it's nice and level. Doesn't look like I put enough glue down here on this end, so I may have to put a little bit more down there. Open it up. And see, all of this will be covered with paper. All right, and that's gonna be up like that. So then the next one, it'll be here like this, up at the top. And this will be like this. 
all the way up at the top. Maybe I'll trim off just, just a sliver. <laughs> yeah, that's a technical word. Trimming off a sliver. Very, very technical. And as I was telling you guys before, so let's put a little bit of glue on this and get this down. As I was telling you guys before, I am trying some different um, cutters. And what I've actually wound up doing is going back to like my old time original Fiskars cutter. Because uh, the one I was making, you can't, I, I was using a lot, you can't get the blades for it anymore. I don't know what they're doing. And please pardon my head, but I really can't see. I should have flipped the book around. But I really couldn't see right there. Okay. Let's open that up. Make sure it's glued down. Let me flip this around because this, I must need some more glue right here because, yep, I have got it right on the edge. And I didn't put enough glue in there. Let's put a little bit more there. I want to make sure it stays down. Put a little pressure on it. Put a little bit of glue right here. Put a little bit of pressure on that. Make sure it stays down. But it's just fun having you guys. It is just fun having you guys to um, to play with. And I've got my timer up here. And obviously this timer, I'm just using my iPad timer, wants to go off. It does not want to, it wants to close off. So I don't know how much time I got left. All right. So now let's turn this back around because my book goes like this. So now we've got a flap that's going to close this way, a flap that's going to close this way. This is gonna close over here. This is gonna close over here. So now all we need to do is put on two belly bands. And because this is smaller, I only made um, inch belly bands. All right, so let's fold these over. And use our bone to make sure they're good and folded. Okay, I've got about a minute and a half left. All right, let's put some glue on this one. Let's glue on that one. And holy moly, let's make sure that I'm gonna put them right in the center right here. Put them right in the center. All right. Do the other one right here. Do the other one right here. I hope that I am staying in frame. Do it right in the center. All right, got about a minute left. All right, so we're gonna do that. Now what we'll do is, what I'll use as a closure is I will put a photo mat and the photo mat will go right in here. It'll be bigger than this. It'll go right in here. And look, I did not even, I didn't have to use a magnet. I didn't have to use anything because the photo mat, when we come back to work on that, will be right here. So what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna glue down this page over here. Then I'll come back in the next video and we'll cover it, we'll mat it with paper, okay? So until next time, happy scrapping.